Hey everyone, we're live for NRT Live and Happy New Year. This is New Year's Day uh, if you're watching this live. Uh, we're finally out of 2020. We made it to 2021. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Grace Chavez, and in case you don't know what this is, every month I talk to Christian artists uh, just to talk about their new music, and it's really just a fun chance for fans to get, uh, to get to know some of their favorite artists. And this month I'm going to be talking to my friend Grace Graber. She's an independent artist. She lives in Portland, Oregon, and she just released a new EP today called In My Head, and today I'm going to be talking with her about that. And I see she's in the chat, so I'm going to add her on here, and we'll get started. Hey! Hey! How's hey. it going? It's going good! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> awesome! Hey, uh, before we get started, mm -hmm. I know I reached out to you and I was like, it's 2021, we mm -hmm. have to do something fun. Yep. I've got my poppers ready. Are you ready to try yep. the New Year? Okay, you ready? Okay. One, two, three! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's smoking. Oh, gosh. I know! It's like really smoking. Whoa. Visual effects there. <laughs> yeah. For sure. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Today is, yeah, today is New Year. New, mm -hmm. New Year. Holy cow, 2020 is over. That was like, I have whiplash. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It was so good and it was so crazy and mm -hmm. holy cow. Yeah. So it's 2021. Yeah. <laughs> yep. This year has been pretty good so far. We'll see how the rest of it goes, but. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so just first, um. This interview is just going to be a quick 15-20 minute interview for fans to get to know you. So first, just tell us about yourself and how you got started in music. Yeah, I am Grace Graver. I'm an independent Christian artist located in Portland, Oregon, all the way here on the West Coast. <laughs> um, I got started in music um, when I was younger. I've been songwriting and making music for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And a song saved my life when I was a teen. I was lead for loving Jesus in middle school mm -hmm. and because of that I became suicidal and I it got so bad it was online mm -hmm. it's really crazy and I got suicidal and a Hawk Nelson song actually stopped me from taking my own life mm -hmm. and so now I make music um, because of bands like Hawk Nelson, mm -hmm. Reliant K, all those bands, they showed me such kindness um, when I was younger. And so now mm -hmm. I, I want to do what they did for me. Yeah, it's awesome. It's so cool how an artist will help somebody's li uh, life and change it. And then somebody else can go and share that with the world. It's so mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, it's, I feel so honored that I get to be mm -hmm. the next generation to do that. Mm -hmm. So cool. And then congrats on releasing your first EP. Thank you. What's the inspiration behind that project? Um, the inspiration behind that project is um, <laughs> um, a lot of things. At first, I thought they were just thoughts in my head. And, mm -hmm. But then I realized it's actually like situations I can create in my head <laughs> mm -hmm. that actually will separate me from God. Um, and what kind of inspired this project was um, I had won a songwriting contest last year through my um, work. I'm an esthetician mm -hmm. um, full-time outside of here. And so they put out a songwriting contest, a company-wide one, sent mm -hmm. me to Nashville, and I got to meet one of my favorite artists, Grant Wool. Turned out he was a producer, and mm -hmm. we ended up started talking after I'd met him, and he wanted to produce something for me. And that's kind of what started the inspiration, was someone mm -hmm. um, who I looked up to and listened to growing up, believed mm -hmm. in me and my music. And so I just started writing songs that would be relatable, mm -hmm. but also honest to the vulnerability of me and my story. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you reach people who yeah. who need to be validated, you know, with their emotions with things going on inside their head. And then also I wanted uh, to pay tribute to the bands who inspired me and that's the last song that came out today. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, nice. Yeah, Thank and you. it's a great EP, and I know a lot of people are going to love it, so. <laughs> I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then the first single you released was Darkness. What's the personal story behind that song? Personal story? Mm -hmm. Man, we all hold on to darkness. Yeah. I think after I experienced such, such a low in middle school, mm -hmm. after experiencing that, you kind of learn to appreciate the light, you know, in your mm -hmm. life, and and being in that spot, I felt like there's someone else out there 
who needs to hear that it's okay that you're experiencing some sort of darkness in your life. Mm -hmm. You're really normal for that. Um, I felt like someone needed to hear that it's only going to grow if you Mm -hmm. don't speak it out and bring it into the light. Um, And when I sat down and wrote that song, it was like a quick 10 minute, wrote Mm -hmm. it, got it out. And I had no idea (laughs) that it would be the demo that my producer would hear and Mm -hmm. that he would then produce and it would be the first single off my EP. Um, And God just kind of took the song and, and, kind of showed me that he wants to speak into the darkness and Mm -hmm. bring, bring the light into it. And um, so I think just personal experience with bullying and all that Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mental health growing up really spoke into that, but also the fact that I knew people had to hear Mm -hmm. that it's only going to grow if you keep it Mm -hmm. hidden, it's only going to grow. And and my favorite line is, it's okay, you're really normal. I th- mm-hmm. I don't think people feel, especially Christians, we don't feel validated enough for mm-hmm. having the feelings and emotions and mental health yeah. that and that we need, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah. That's so great. And then Thank you're you. an independent artist. Uh, what has it been like not working with a label? What are some of the good things to come out of that? I am independent because I'm just starting out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I have actually I've never had an opportunity to work with a label, which eventually mm-hmm. I'd love to experience. But um, mm-hmm. I think one thing I've noticed because I do have friends who are signed, and I listen to tons of podcasts mm-hmm. <laughs> about the industry. Um, I think one of the hardest parts was finance. <laughs> yeah, um, it costs a lot, you guys. Whoever's watching, it costs a lot of money for artists to just make one song. It costs Mm -hmm. a lot of money just for the production, for the engineering, to get the song made, Mm -hmm. written. Oh, my gosh. And then on top of that is, um, this is one thing I wish I I had, like, planned for more was the marketing and Mm -hmm. getting your song out there. Um, I I did not expect... Um, that at all I did not mm-hmm. I did not plan well for that <laughs> mm-hmm. um God has been making it happen um but I think the hardest thing was is finance and just it just starting um getting mm-hmm. getting kind of some foot some momentum footwork momentum um mm-hmm. and being able to really steward the songs because you really want to steward the songs that's what makes mm-hmm. the difference is being able to make the most out of it. Make I've been made, I made a music video for each one of the songs and mm-hmm. two of them, one of them I did by myself and then two and then another one I actually had someone reach out to me cuz they'd seen wow. my first music video. So I know I, I know God has been working. I've met all mm-hmm. of my photographers on social media because God yeah. has been moving and God has been making this project happen, but I think the one thing that I wish if I was with a label like that would mm-hmm. really would have helped this fight. Yeah. But um but my favorite part about being independent right now is like how much I get to be involved in things. I've been making the graphics myself for all my promos. I've mm-hmm. been um I made my own music video for Heart mm-hmm. for Me on the EP which you can check out on my YouTube channel. Um and I got to be a part of all of it. And I think experience mm-hmm. is super important. So yeah. to be an independent artist and, and not have a lot of help and just kind mm-hmm. of dive into YouTube videos on how do I do this? How do I do mm-hmm. that? And learn how to do it first, I think is going to really help me in the future because mm-hmm. I'll also be able to, um, I'll know what I want. And then yeah. I'll also be able to um, understand how much work gets put into that. Because mm-hmm. one thing I've been grateful for, and I've just been pondering with uh, the debut of mm-hmm. the EP and I Miss the Old Days coming out specifically is I had no idea how much work those artists mm-hmm. were doing. Yeah. I had no idea. And it actually makes me more grateful for mm-hmm. all of the hard work of our old bands, Hawk Nelson, we're like, hey, run, can run. Mm-hmm. Um, all of those artists work so hard. We didn't have streaming services back then. They couldn't mm-hmm. see all that. Yeah. And man, I am just so <laughs> grateful that I got to experience it because now I now I now I know and now I understand and mm-hmm. and now I can take that and and grow from that as well. Mhm. Yeah, I feel like unless you're in the industry, you don't realize like how much work goes into everything like 
just even being with new release today and seeing all the hard work artists put into their music mm -hmm. it's crazy and you have such high quality stuff and i know <laughs> you're you. <laughs> you could be a great inspiration for other independent artists so thank great. you i and i see how much hard work you guys do at nrt mm -hmm. i just want to thank you guys for yeah. um believing in me and being so kind to me um because you guys put in a lot of hard work and yeah. I learned quickly doing my own marketing that I'm probably doing the work of like a team of 17 people. Sometimes mm -hmm. you guys oh, are yeah. all covering stories, writing, mm -hmm. editing, making graphics. And mm -hmm. that, that I give you guys props for doing that. Cause <laughs> Thanks. man, it's a lot of work. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then do you have anything planned for 2020 as far as music goes or as far as 2021? 2021 yes <laughs> I know I've got to get in the habit of <laughs> yeah. yeah um as far as music writing I think um I think one thing for me is it's always been about building relationships with people mm -hmm. and so I've met a lot of people in 2020 just from this release that I adore and I want to continue mm -hmm. to work with and help make their dreams happen too so I think cultivating relationship for me is mm -hmm. the number one thing out of a, a relationship with God and with people mm -hmm. as well um cultivating relationship um and then I am currently writing a few songs I do I've been making a couple demos too so I've got mm -hmm. I've got some ideas up my sleeve and then um hopefully um we'll be able to do some more recording this summer but mm -hmm. um I think right now just cultivating songwriting relationships um and I think it makes a difference when you do that too, because people mm -hmm. people will see that they'll see that it's the song has more impact when you do build yeah. those relationships and mm -hmm. you're able to put a song out with that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's awesome. Then I have some rapid fire questions for you. Are you ready for that? I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. Okay, so favorite song off of your EP? Ooh, um, uh, I miss the old days. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh what was your biggest highlight from 2020 oh i recording an ep with a mm -hmm. pop star that i grew up watching on <laughs> i think pretty cool yeah i think that's grant wall yeah he's oh he's great mm -hmm. and i think learning learning all of his experience he just taught me so much mm -hmm. and that we just spent a week recording the ep and it was mm -hmm. a really intense week of just learning mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Nice. And then what's your favorite Bible verse? Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Man, what's the, oh my gosh, I would, I would look at the Bible app, but it's, it's about like the darkness can't overcome the light. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's first John, oh, it's first John once. I, I went to right. Bible college. I should know that. <laughs> um, um, but it's, it's about, it's about the fact that darkness can, it, can, it's, it can't consume the light. The mm -hmm. light is going to consume that. And guess what? The light is Jesus. So mm -hmm. I think that speaks to my song, Darkness. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm blanking on, wow, that, that one caught me off guard. <laughs> Bible verse. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Um, then favorite movie? Oh. Peter Pan. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> then all-time favorite song? All-time favorite song forever? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, ooh, uh, Letters to the President by Hawk Nelson. Nice. I, I'll stick to a classic, yeah. Throwback. <laughs> Hawk Nelson all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's your dream collaboration with music? <sighs> um, dream collaboration. I have so many. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think um, Trevor McNeven from uh, Thousands of Crutch. Did I say his oh, cool. name right? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but... Okay. Um, Trevor from Thousands of Crutch. He wrote mm -hmm. for FM Static. I, oh my gosh. If I could write a song with him, he is one of the best songwriters out there, and he tells a really good story. So yeah, if I could clap mm -hmm. anyone, it would be that. Yeah, That'd be awesome. <laughs> and then finally, this isn't a rapid fire question, but uh, how can we be praying for you? Oh man. Um, pray for relationships. Um, mm -hmm. pray that God opens more doors. I have no idea. I released this deb debut mm -hmm. EP and I've been on my couch watching Netflix, you mm -hmm. know, texting people that's coming out. I have no idea what God's going to do with it, but I do, mm -hmm. 
I do know he's made it happen this far. Mm -hmm. And so if he's going to use it, he's going to use it. And I just have to trust him with that. So if you could be praying um, that God um, continues to use that, use me um, and mm -hmm. help develop relationships um, as well as um, songs, just praying mm -hmm. for more songs. Songs are what's going to impact people. So yeah. um, be praying for that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll definitely be praying for that. And I know our staff will be too. So thank you so much for taking the time to come on here today and yeah. we'll keep in touch. You guys are so great. Thank you so much for doing really yeah, today. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. Well, it's so great having Grace on. Uh, keep an eye on our social media pages for more information about next month. And I'll see you all back there then. Bye.